today I'm on the Redwood Trail in Big Basin. And the really unique thing is that these redwoods are all burned because of a fire. And so, but see, new life is sprouting. These redwoods are very lucky to have survived. And as you see, the young redwoods are sprouting to become a new generation. But other trees aren't that lucky such as the Douglas fir. This is a Douglas fir. How do I know this? Well, look at the patterns of the bark. That's one thing that will identify the type of tree. This bark is split into clumps, which means it's a Douglas fir. On the other hand, the redwoods, still after being burned, the bark is smooth, as you can see with all of them. Redwoods also have a protective layer of substance which protects them from forest fires. Also, their bark is very thick. On the other hand, the Douglas fir, well, it produces this type of sap that is really flammable, which causes it to burn down whenever a fire approaches. When the fire comes and reaches the sap, it gets even bigger and it burns down a lot of Douglas firs. That's why there isn't as much Douglas firs, and so there isn't as much as shade. Because Douglas firs, the leaves are wide span, which creates shade. And so, yeah, I mean, there isn't as much shade. There is still shade to cool down and admire the scenery around us. Those are the main differences between these two gigantic trees.